But first, a crash on an interstate. How much does it cost you? Good evening, I'm Katie Houston. And I'm Mark Allen. We saw a number of crashes over this most recent rainy weekend. Tonight, Robert Lowry working for you, tracking the bill for all the accident cleanup. It's something we all take for granted as drivers. As you can see, dividers like this one over here on I-75 are meant to keep us safe from oncoming traffic whenever there's an accident or anything like that. But whenever there is an accident, ODOT is the one left footing the bill on that. But depending on who is behind the wheel, it could really come back to taxpayers on who pays for all those repairs. The worse the weather gets, the more likely ODOT crews will be out on the roads. We had uh, a wide variety of incidents this weekend and uh, we were very busy. All the rain isn't out of the ordinary for road crews. They're used to cleaning up the damage done by storms. Well, anytime we have wet conditions for an extended period, it seems like we have uh, multiple incidents uh, with guardrail and cable barrier systems. But continuous rainfall over the weekend created hazards for drivers. The Ohio State Highway Patrol shows at least 11 crash reports on state roads over the weekend. This semi lost control on I-70 on Sunday, leaking fuel and destroying a cable barrier. On that same stretch, another accident caused damage to the roadside structures. All of it is left in the hands of ODOT crews to clean. We got called out more this weekend uh, to respond to some of these incidents than we commonly do on a weekend. Which in turn has taxpayers shelling out the cash for repairs. Not all of it, however, comes out of your wallet. Once we get an accident report from the state patrol or the local jurisdiction, the local police department, uh, we get a hold of the insurance company and we submit a bill. The drivers involved in the crash can find themselves paying for the damages. If a driver doesn't have insurance, however, that can sometimes come back on ODOT, costing you money. We uh, uh, budget for the guardrail repairs and cable barrier re repairs each year. And like I say, most of it we get reimbursed for as long as the motorists are insured. It's a price taxpayers have to pay when accidents destroy the roads. When ODOT does make those insurance claims, they take into cost everything that includes the, the repairs, the equipment, and also the cost of paying the workers to be out there. And that sometimes includes overtime. Now, when those repairs need to be made, it's because of the insurance claims. It can sometimes take anywhere from 30 days to six months until those repairs are completed. Reporting live, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.